Assalamu alaikum and hello guys. Wish you all a happy Eid Mubarak. Welcome back to the channel where I'm currently in a role with sharing ideas and techniques that helps me keep myself productive and get my work done efficiently in this pandemic. Today, we're going to talk about effective learning. The method we're going to talk about today is a technique that doesn't take more than 25 minutes to practice and it is quite simple. This is the Feynman technique of learning. Oftentimes, we encounter this popular saying by Mr. Albert Einstein that if you can't explain it simply, you don't understand it well enough. Well, that's the Feynman technique in a nutshell for you. The Feynman technique of learning is named after the great physicist, the great explainer, Richard Feynman, who won the Nobel Prize in 1965 for his work in quantum electrodynamics. He's also affiliated with the introduction of Feynman diagrams, which are basically pictures and diagrams explaining the mathematical expressions that describe the interaction of subatomic particles and the behaviors as well. The Feynman technique involves some simple steps. One, you simply choose a topic that you want to learn effectively. Number two, you teach it to a toddler. Three, identify the gaps in your learning. Four, simplify your notes and review. And lastly, five, repetition. Let's dig down into them, shall we? One, choosing a concept. You simply take a piece of paper and a pen. You choose a concept and write it down at the top of your page. Now, you write down everything that you know about the topic below it, including definitions, pictorial representations, pie charts, etc. This makes your notes fun to remember with pictures, linking to boring sets of words and vocabularies. Once you're done, you are to get ready for the next step. Step 2. Teach it to a toddler. By a toddler, we mean an individual with no prior experience or knowledge regarding the topic you're about to teach. If no one's interested to sit down and listen to your lectures, then you can use a video camera to record your lecture in front of the screen. This allows you to identify the gaps of your notes slash learning. Number three, identify gaps. Once you've given your lecture, you now know where your gaps are. If you've been teaching to a person, he or she can let you know where they found the topic unclear and if you've been using a camera, you can always rewind your videos to identify the gaps. Number 4. Simplify and review. Once you know where your problems are, you take your notes again and fill in the gaps, slash make your notes simpler by adding additional information to your lecture. For example, if you're a physics student, you can add mathematical explanations to the topic and defining how the bricks and cements came into building the topic you're addressing. You review your notes once you're done. For having further deeper understanding of your topic, you teach it to a toddler slash video camera again. And that's basically the repetition technique. This is how simple the Feynman technique of learning is. Comment down in the comment sections below if you found this technique fun and worth your time. And let us know also if you're gonna try this method out. And make sure you subscribe and smash that like button. And of course, I'll be uploading soon, inshallah. And we'll be back again with another video. Till then, Salaamu Alaikum.